we're going to talk about one of a fencer's nightmares and that is short stretches because short stretches are so hard to get tight that's what this thing's for is to help us get our short stretches tight there are some other tools on the market that do much the same thing but this like everything else they do is just better we have huge leverage and now we can when we have all these short stretches we'll just get our wire in the right spot that's about where we want to be so if we do that That allows us to get our kink in there, which now we can let off. Now we can do our high tensile wire knot. And you guys are probably like, we'd love to see you do another high tensile wire knot. And I'm like, yeah, this is gonna be tough. Just getting it down through there is the bane of my existence, I think. This is the part of tying high tensile wire knots I've never enjoyed. That's gonna go, that's gonna go this way. We're gonna... Then lazy loop, two tight ones. Handle, boom, ha ha! Victory, she is mine. This can help a tremendous amount. Uh, for people that are doing what we call hard stapling, it works really well if you're into that. Um, we try and avoid hard stapling wherever possible. And obviously, since this is pipe, we don't have stapling as an option. Hard stapling is when you drive a staple on the wire to hold the tension on the wire um, while you allowing you to tie it off. Uh, we, like I say, because this is pipe, we don't have that option. Should we try that one more time? And maybe do it a little more gracefully. Okay, we're gonna see if we can get this in tighter. And the other thing that's killing us is we don't actually have this brace. So I can get this as tight as I want, and the tighter I get it, it's gonna pull the top over and make it looser again. So I do have that going against me as well on this. Um, but this thing, this tool works exceptionally well. Don't, don't misinterpret what is going on here for this tool not working. So now we can actually, I'm gonna try this while it's still hooked on there and then run it through there. Now we'll let it off and we're able to keep all that tension. One lazy loop. Two tight wraps and ring it. Like I say, if this was braced, it would work even better. Now let me show you the other thing. We talked about it in a couple videos ago uh, when we were talking about T-gripples or T-clips and how to tie these knots. So we go through, we go up, and then we wrap counterclockwise. If we wrap the other way, it's gonna wanna undo our knot. So the way you wrap, and you can get a close-up of that, anyhow, down, and then wrap this way. If you go the other way, it's no good. So I'll show you the way not to do it. So I'm a noob fence builder. The only thing I can't show you is hard stapling. That would be the only thing worse than what I'm about to do. People do this a lot because they're used to working with low carbon wire and then move to high tensile and don't realize there's a whole different way to tie it. And I'll see people use that drill attachment and stuff like that, but that's not the... As nice as that may look, it's completely improper. High tensile wire needs a high tensile wire knot. Over time, as this thing, we've actually done tests and if I was to pull on this hard enough, this knot would actually unwrap. You need that knot to lock it so it doesn't unwrap. Because high tensile wire will just unwrap and go back to its normal state. So that's why this doesn't work if you get your wire good and tight. Uh, may look all right, but it's no bueno.